What is up guys, Johnny here, welcome to JHC Gaming, your number one source for Shadowgun Legends content. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification. Let's go. In today's video, I want to look at the best tips for new players in Shadowgun Legends. These are the things you should know if you're new to the game. Okay, first of all, when you start Shadowgun Legends, first thing you should do is walk around in the hub and go talk to everyone. They will give you some missions these early games missions will allow you to unlock all the different areas in the hub including the vendors the war games casino the bar everything you need once that is done you will start doing your campaign just a tip guys level up before you start gearing in the end game content in my opinion it is very important that you level up to max before anything else you should not waste time trying to do co-op raids or arenas if you're not max level the max level in shadowgun legends is 20 plus 5 not 20 that means when you're level 20 you can still keep playing into the campaign or doing some operation missions and you will still be able to level up five more times unfortunately right now guys there is no quick way to level up there's no trick to level up fast from level 18 to 20 plus 5 i'll be honest with you guys it will get a bit repetitive but you have to do it make the sacrifice it will make your end game farming much more enjoyable the way to know if you're fully leveled up is go in the shop click on an item to buy and if you see the power of the item is 250 power that means you level 20 plus 5 you should not worry too much about the gear when you're leveling up because you level up super fast and at every level you will drop some better items. Couple things about the skill tree. At the moment we cannot reset the skills but it will be available soon so don't worry if you make a mistake. You'll probably have a chance to respect later but I don't know if it will be free. At the moment the best skill in the game for endgame PvE content is Supercharger. Supercharger will double your damage output for a whole 10 seconds. It will help you clear elite and bosses. It will significantly improve your clear times in endgame. Then as a second skill, Stunner is one of the most popular, especially in the Blade Dancer dungeon and Wave 5 in Silver Arena. After that, people usually alternate between Sentry Gun and AM Bomb. Now if your focus is more on PvP, the skill set will differ a little bit. I know right now Gunslinger is very OP, a lot of people are asking for a nerf. If you want to know more about the skills, make sure you check my skills guide in the description. Once you're done leveling up, it is now time to go and farm gear in Silver Arena. You should do a bunch of Silver Arena once you reach max level. Silver Arena is the best source for cash income and purple gear once you've done a couple silver arenas you will quickly max level all your skills don't forget to check the shop every six hours try to get some very nice purple gear when you shop for purple gear make sure you look at the perks they will not always be the same the best perks you should look for right now are crit damage extra damage and extra damage to elites on your shoulders it's okay to sacrifice some damage for extra loot when farming endgame content. If you want to know more about endgame transition, make sure you check my video in the description. Also, make sure you look at my YouTube channel. Click on the video section. I have all the information you need right here to become successful in Shadowgun Legends. Here you will find all the guides for all the endgame content, including the co-op dungeons. So that will be it for now. If this video was helpful, make sure you leave a like subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications, watch my other videos and I will be back soon. Good luck.